You want to make people mad on your videos? Laugh through it. Hey <laughs> y'all, gravity. Any day above ground, live it. So you already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's right. Share, like, and subscribe. Cause I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. What you're seeing on the screen, folks, is a comment section. My comment section. This comment section is in relation to my video Call of Duty Commandos. <laughs> now, these Call of Duty Commandos folks are Henry Hoft and Ken Reed. Now, I did this back in March, March 24th to be exact. And in that video, whilst reading articles, I pointed out that these two men either ran from the battlefield or were told by their government in Ken Ree's case not to go, but they still went anyway. I proceeded to say that in the video. I posted the video, and this is back when I still didn't have that many subscribers. So it didn't get a lot of traction, but it started getting traction once the war in Ukraine ramped up. By the way, I am not praying for Ukraine. But to continue on, apparently, also in the video, I was laughing and making up names like Call of Duty Commandos or Golden Eye Jihad, GIs, you know, things, Splinter Cell Sergeants. I think that's what I said. But you get the idea. I was making fun of the fact that these two men decided to go to a country and fight in a war that has nothing to do with them. But the purpose of me saying that is, apparently the white supremacists and their Asian buddies found the video and got pissed off that I said what I said. Now, as you see on the screen, we have comments. Now, the first comment, it says, from Delta Boss, I already know what this is about, Dude, Kenry was actually a real-life South Korean Navy SEAL. Now, folks, nowhere in that video, you can go back and listen to it, did I ever say he wasn't a Navy SEAL. Never said this. I actually brought that up. And I didn't disparage the fact that he was a Navy SEAL. I actually respect people that go to the military. But I said, never said he wasn't. This man dis disobeyed a directive from his government, which I also highlighted in the video that his government, the South Korean government, specifically told him to not go over there or risk being arrested when you come back. He still went. Okay. And they proceeded to tell me that he accepted being arrested when he got back. Okay, fine. Whatever. Now, this one is my favorite one because not only did he try to tell me that I was wrong, but he brought 10 of his buddies to like the comment and tell me that, I'm somehow screwing up the information. Yet I was reading the information as it was presented to me. Because, you know, of course, I duck, duck, go. I used it and did a search. But, okay, we're going to play that game, sir. So he says, I'm not sure what you're on about. First off, he spelled you're wrong. It's Y-O-U apostrophe R-E grammar Nazi. Holla at me. I have absolutely no... I have absolutely zero knowledge about the first guy. But, hell, you're wrong. He did it again. Y-O-U-R, but whatever. Wrong about Ken Ree. He's a South Korean Navy SEAL with real battle experience in Iraq and Somalia. That should be a period, not a comma. To think someone who does nothing but sit on a chair and laugh would even have the audacity to insult him is just wow. And even then, when you're sitting, did it again, on your chair with all the time in the world without finding or risking anything, you somehow screw up basic research about him. What are you doing? But okay, we're not going to do that. Kenry already knew what would happen if he traveled to Ukraine. He mentioned it himself on Instagram, I believe, which is what I said in the article. But of course, people here, they don't listen. Saying specifically that he had hoped to leave Korea through formal procedures, but was warned by South Korean government. Yet he still left despite knowing what's at risk. He even made it clear that he would accept full responsibility accordingly, not even using He's, uh, he, I guess he meant his status as an ex-special operative to make excuses. Would you have done the same? same? Nope, absolutely freaking not. You're correct. I would not do the same because if somebody, if I'm in the military and my commanding officers or the government told me not to go, I'm not going. 
That's the point. You are told where to go when you're in the military. You don't take it upon yourself to go somewhere where you're told not to go. Guess what they call those kind of people, sir? They call those mercenaries, soldiers of fortune. But of course, we continue. I'm not sure how anyone would even want to subscribe to your channel. All you did here was laugh at two men fighting in Ukraine while at the same, same time presenting incorrect information. Again, I read articles in the video. And yes, I did laugh because it was funny. But I keep going. You didn't provide any important insights or whatsoever. Now that I think of it, this video is nothing more than one clueless man laughing for five minutes straight while being naive at the same time. First off, I didn't laugh for five minutes straight. But okay. If I last for five minutes straight, nobody would watch the video. I would get nothing but comments to say all you did was laugh. You were the only one that pointed this out. So I think you're upset at the fact that I made it funny and I made it engaging and informative. Something you can't do because you have no subscribers. But okay. So y'all know me. I had to respond. And we had a back and forth. So I said, um, Ken's government told him not to go, or did you miss that in my video? Henry thought this was Call of Duty, and he was tough, and he found out it's real over there, which is why he escaped to Poland, which was in the article. You wrote a whole essay about my video and missed the point. If this war doesn't involve you, stay out of it or prepare for the consequences. They could have lost their lives for what? And by the way, there's the basic research you said I lacked. Then he came back and said, a whole bunch of crap. I'm not even going to put that on the screen because, again, him and three of his buddies showed up. But OK. So I also said, I love how in the last paragraph he wrote, you completely lied on me. I never said he couldn't go home. I said the government were threatening. I said his government were threatening arrest if he came back on their shores. Again, basic research was done, sir. But just because I pissed off one of your heroes, don't project ignorance. You may leave because this goes to another problem. People like to hear and don't listen. Don't get upset at me. You want to go take it out on somebody? You, what you should have done as an intelligent individual is ask me where I got the information from. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't do that because I could have easily provided it to you. Then you could have went and found the authors of those articles and told them that they were wrong. No, you came to me because I had enough gall to call out this, those two men for what they were. They were people that were involving themselves in something that did not involve them. And I happened to make the story funny because it was. We laugh at stupid people all the time. Yes, Ken Ree is a hero. Bless him. I'm not going to sit up here and praise him for disobeying his government and putting his life on the line. I'm not going to sit up there and say, great, good job. It's the same thing I did with Malcolm Nance. He ran over there for what? But I have to clap for the white supremacists and their Asian buddies. Thank you for coming to the video. But anyway, let me get out of here. So you already know what to do. Share, like, and subscribe. That's why I share, like, and subscribe because I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm different. Take care. Stay safe. I would laugh at the end of this, but I, nah, y'all don't deserve that. Peace.